Our body's feelings and physical sensations contain a lot of information which, generally speaking, we don't listen to enough. In this video, you will learn how to feel, sit with, listen to, and find answers in your feelings and physical sensations, so stay tuned. This may be what's missing on your journey. Hey everyone, welcome to Becoming an Expert at Self-Leadership. I'm Micah, I'm a psychologist, and in this video I will introduce you to a method of being more aware of and consulting your feelings and physical sensations. This technique was developed by Eugene Gendlin in the 60s. Actually, he says that he didn't develop it that. He just observed what people who were able to reach their change goals did differently from people who didn't change. Also, this method is substantiated by research. This difference was that people who were successful in changing did so alongside their feelings and physical sensations. They listened more within themselves. They consulted their feelings. They made way for their feelings and physical sensations to change along with their mind. It makes sense to me that they were more successful in changing if their feelings had also changed and not just what they knew about certain skills on the level of reason and the abstract considerations they had on different things. Feelings are a big part of what pushes us to do what we do. If they don't change, we don't change. This act of listening within, consulting your feelings, or focusing, as Eugene Gendlin calls it, can be helpful in lots of different situations. It may be that you're experiencing strong emotions, that you're confused about what's going on inside you. You may feel blocked. You may want to get to know yourself better, your interests, dreams, longings. You may have overreacted to something. You may want to figure out what to do next or how to come to a decision. All these and more are instances in which consulting your feelings and physical sensations is really helpful and important. Eugene Gendlin explains how you can do this in six steps. These six steps are especially important when you're learning how to step into this dialogue with your feelings. Later, it all melts together into one step or motion. You can do this anywhere and everywhere. At the beginning, it's helpful to find a place that you're comfortable in and that is relatively quiet. Step one, get an overview. Once you're sitting in a relaxed and attentive position, ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? What's going on inside me? And then pay attention to whatever comes up. Watch and feel from the observer's perspective with a bit of distance. Take the time you need to get a complete sense of what you're feeling in that moment. Don't quickly jump into any specific emotion or feeling right away. Keep asking, how do I feel? What else is there to get the whole picture? Get in touch with your body's sense of the situation. And if it feels like you don't feel anything, ask yourself how that feels. What does it feel like to feel empty or stuck? Step two, narrow it down. Now narrow it down to the most important or pressing feeling, problem, or positive sensation. Ask what's most relevant right now. What's the heaviest or lightest? What contains the most information or power? Think of this aspect for a moment, but don't start worrying about it or overthinking it. Observe it from some distance. Don't enter it. Observe and feel what it's like to sense it there from that distance. 
Don't analyze, just feel. Listen to the feeling, not the internal chatter that's connected to it. The feeling is deeper and more steady. The next step is to find a word for your feeling. What's the core of it? How could you put this feeling into a word or a phrase? Or are there mental pictures coming up that are connected to this feeling? Don't force words onto it. Try them gently. This could be heavy or a weight on my shoulders. It could be tight, constricted, or expansive, energetic, happy. Step four, check if the word fits. If the word fits, you will feel a response from your body. It's a release of tension. A sensation like remembering something that you forgot. An aha moment or the sense of knowing. Stay connected with or reconnect with the feeling to check if the word fits. Step five, ask. Now ask, what about the situation is making you feel the way you feel? Use the word that you found. What about this is making me feel tense, anxious, elated, or happy? You can also ask which unfulfilled need is behind this feeling. You're consulting your body's whole sense of the situation. It's a holistic sense, more inclusive than one emotion or just reason. Eugene Gendlin calls this the felt sense of our bodies. Step six, listen. Then listen to the response that comes from the feeling. Throughout this process, remember to stay in the observer's position. You aren't your feelings, you're experiencing them. Also be gentle. Don't try to force your feelings into some direction that won't work. Just allow them to unfold, be there with them and listen. Also, most probably the feeling that you're focusing on will change through the act of focusing. This is actually desired. Feelings are always in flux, so allow them to be that way. Allow them to flow and just be with them and observe them. These changes and shifts are what change feels like physically. It's a release of tension. A cramp loosens. You feel freer, less stuck. It's pleasant. Have an open attitude of receiving information. You're not telling yourself things, things that you've probably told yourself hundreds of times before. You're listening, receiving. Also, you may feel a shift, change, or some fresh new insight coming from the feeling already before step six. That's great. Go along with that. That's what you're aiming for. Give your feeling the time it needs to unfold. Eugene Gendlin says this takes about 30 seconds, but more realistic is three to four minutes because it's likely that our attention will drift away in between being connected to our feeling. Be open to listen to anything that the feeling wants to tell you, even if you don't know what you're going to do with that information right then and there, or if you can't see how you're going to solve an issue that the feeling raises, you don't have to solve it all at once. Being in contact with your feelings like this is one of the most profound ways you can change your life and support yourself on your journey. I wish you all the best. I am excited for you to try this out and benefit from it. Remember to subscribe if you're new here and you want to learn more. Till next time, take care and remember to check in with your feelings and inner wisdom.